So when I first saw this trailer, I said, man, you know, I don't even really watch romantic comedies, but I got to watch this one because it's not every day that you see a mainstream American film centered around Asian culture with an all Asian cast. I'm not talking about movies like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon that are like subtitled that come from overseas. I'm talking about mainstream American films. So I said, I have to watch this movie. I was supposed to have a guest, but you know, things happen. So I'm still going to give you my point of view. I walked in there with an open mind like I do every movie and I'm going to give you a real honest spoiler free review so before i get into it if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet you might want to do it now let's get into it Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Ab1, and this is Before You Watch. I will be your host for the next few minutes. These are spoiler-free reviews, if you haven't noticed by now, and this is for Crazy Rich Asians, if you haven't noticed by now. So anyway, I was reading an article, and the author of this novel, I didn't read the novel, by the way, but that did not take away from the film, in my opinion. But anyway, the producer, before he went to go get this, uh, you know, this, this book turned into a film adapted into a film, I guess is a proper term. This big time famous movie producer in Hollywood, they didn't want to say any names, told him, let's change the female lead to a white woman. And I'm not surprised because if, you, if you've if you been living under a rock or you just don't know what's going on, there's not a lot of Asian representation in Hollywood outside of like the Jet Lees and the Jackie Chans. There's just not a lot. And the very few... Asian movies that we do get are severely whitewashed like Doctor Strange and The Great Wall. And if you don't know what I mean by that term, then you might as well just Google it and come back to this review because I'm not going to get too much into it. It's just that's not what this video is about. So he went to another big time movie producer and he completely saw his vision and they were saying that the tide is turning in Hollywood. And let me tell you something. When I saw how many non-Asian patrons were turned out to watch that theater i mean to watch that movie i completely completely agreed you know black folks we had black panther it was like a big time event and i feel like crazy rich asians is the same for their culture and it was just refreshing it was refreshing to see people going to see a movie about culture that doesn't necessarily reflect their own and it was also good to see a film with an all asian cast basically shedding light on culture that we don't see every day you know um one thing about this movie that i really really did enjoy was the fact that it was like really vibrant really clean and it was like a tour of singapore for two hours pretty much like the buildings the locales all the architecture it was just gorgeous i mean people watch movies and they're like oh my god look at la it's gorgeous with all the traffic and the skyscrapers look at new york city Nah, bruh, nah. This movie is a whole nother monster. I felt like I was watching a two-hour special on the Travel Channel. I loved it. I loved it. I walked out of this film. The ending scene, they're having this party on, like, this boat that's a pool, but a mansion slash loft on top of these skyscrapers it was crazy and that's like a real building it was crazy and i'm like yo i really gotta go to singapore it was nuts it was nuts outside of that the chemistry i felt the chemistry between the lead actor and the lead actress was just undeniable i mean i really feel like they're dating in real life and if they're not they need to win Oscars because that chemistry was real. There's a scene where they're at a wedding and the uh, the boyfriend is telling the girlfriend across the room that he loves her. She's saying it back and the mother's looking in disgust. And I really felt like they really did love each other. I'm sitting here like, yo, this really is relationship goals. Hashtag relationship goals. Like for real. It was crazy. And it wasn't just them two. The cast as a whole, I just felt like they had a lot of fun filming this movie. They really did enjoy each other's company. Everything felt natural. Nothing felt unnatural. Everything was organic from the jokes, even like the serious dialogues where people are angry with each other or bitter or yelling or screaming. 
everything just felt real. It felt natural. If it weren't for that, I don't think I would have been as engaged because romantic comedies can like teeter along the lines of like fairy tales. And like you guys know what I mean, especially like males. Like, you know what I mean? The scenes where they had the food out. Yo, my stomach was growling like I was really about to start Googling blue apron in singapore to see if they had any locations like you need to send me some of these dumplings that i'm seeing in this movie like asap because the food looked really good the visuals just like really made this movie this movie is also really funny rom-com sometimes the humor can fall a little flat or it'll be funny for like two or three scenes this movie was pretty funny all around all around and i mean like really really funny they made a lot of pop culture references which was dope but they they also made America jokes. And when I mean America jokes, I don't mean Trump jokes. They made jokes about how we are in terms of how we act as Americans from their point of view. And I feel like it's funny because it's true. Perfect example, they're at a dinner, they're at the dinner table and the kids are eating and they go to them, hey, did you finish your food? And the kids are like, We don't want to we don't want to finish this. We're not hungry anymore. And the guy goes to him and says, Come on now, you need to finish eating your food because there's people in America starving. You know, women over there like to starve themselves for social media. And people, everybody started laughing and so did I because it's true. And that's just many things you just see how they perceive, how other people receive perceive us as Americans. Everything from how we prioritize our work over our family this movie also tackles topics that i feel like everybody should be able to relate to you don't need to be an asian billionaire gazillionaire trillionaire to be able to relate to this film they tackled things like insecurities jealousy within friends money or being a hard worker relationship infidelities the fragile existence of like the family dynamic and how easily it can break i mean it tackles a lot of topics you know i liked a lot of things about this movie but the one thing i did not like was the running time not only is this movie two hours but it's two hours and one minute like come on <laughs> it's a romantic comedy man i feel like those movies need to be between an hour and 30 and an hour and 45 minutes two hours i get it it's a novel to film adaptation you want to be accurate you got to please everybody you want to show off all of this stuff but come on we still have to be concise in the process that's why my reviews are now eight minutes or less <laughs> unless i have a guest <laughs> But after that, I really did enjoy this film. It's funny, take your girl, take your shorty, whatever. Even if you don't want to go with anybody else, it's still a fun movie. You know, it's a lighthearted film. You can take anybody with you. Just get some culture in your life. Get some culture in your life, man. I give this movie a 7.8 out of 10, which I feel like is really, really good considering I do not watch romantic comedies i don't like them in the slightest i will watch this movie again probably like years from now when it's on tnt with limited commercial interruption but i'm not gonna rush to the theater to watch it again now however i feel like everybody should support this film they should at least watch it once I hope this movie is successful because it deserves to be. It's really, really good. It's a lighthearted film. You could take anybody to go see it. So check it out. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll leave all my social media links. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so now. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the dope content. I got videos for days, for days. Check out my Black Klansman review. That's out. My top five Drake albums. My top five Denzel Washington movies. Face to faces all day. Just check them all out. Check them all all out <laughs> anyway man it's like one in the morning i gotta go i just left the gym man check this movie out let me know what you thought peace